Hey folks, how you doing? How do you feel when you have to leave a ladder behind uh, for the code inspector to come and inspect his job after your install? That's what we're talking about today on Fox Family. If this is your first time visiting our channel, please click subscribe down below. And uh, there's a little bell off to the side of that. If you click that, you'll be notified of every video that comes out. So, here's the story. When we do an HVAC job, when we do an, when we do an install, uh, we obviously pull the permit. And uh, part of the permit, permitting process, uh, is adhering to the International Mechanical Code, International Residential Code, California Residential Code, California, California, Electric Car. So when you pull the permit, you're promising that you're going to install this system uh, according to all of those codes. I think it's section 109 in the International Mechanical Code that starts talking about inspections and permits process. Part of that permit inspection process that we have to adhere to, section 109 says the person requesting the inspection must provide the means and access for the inspector to complete their job. Now, for me, what that means is, and what they tell us every time we go pull a permit is, make sure you have a ladder for us so that our inspector can get in the attic and, and inspect his job. You're like, what? But uh, yeah, so they're they're like, yeah, you uh, you have to leave a ladder because our inspectors don't carry ladders uh, to inspect those jobs. So that's why we have to provide the ladders. So we do an install and we do the final paperwork and we tell them, hey, we're gonna leave a ladder here for the inspector to come do his job. When he's done doing the job, um, just leave the ladder over on the side of the house. Give us a call, we'll come back and pick it up. And that's really not a big deal. And if you're not worried about liability, if you don't own a business, you're not worried about this crap. But if you do own a business or you have a certain amount of um, liability that you're responsible for your, for your HVAC company, here's my problem. If the inspector goes up that ladder and, I don't know, he just falls off the ladder or my ladder breaks and causes him to fall off the ladder. If that, if that happens and the inspector falls off the ladder and hurts himself, then I'm afraid that I'm going to end up getting sued. Because here's what's going to happen. So I went and talked to my attorney about this because I was... You know, I'm obviously a little bit of ramped up about it, right? So I wanted to talk to my attorney about it and see what he thought about it. Like, because to me, that stinks, man. That smells funny. That doesn't sound right. Another business has to provide a ladder or a tool for your employee at the city. So they're, and then once they're out there on the job, if they were to get hurt, uh, apparently, um, you know, they have workers' compensation uh, for the city, but that's, that's only going to cover so much uh, of their medical bills, right? And their insurance might cover a little bit of it, but if the guy hurts himself, breaks a leg, becomes paralyzed or something like that, and, um, you know, he can't work anymore, or, you know, he obviously can't climb up ladders anymore because now he's, uh, he's something with his leg or something, he has a change of lifestyle. If there's a change of lifestyle, now the owner, now the wife of that inspector can now sue us because her lifestyle has changed because we supplied the ladder that her husband fell off of. I have a hard time swallowing that. So what did I do? Of course, I went and talked to my attorney about it. He says, yeah, it doesn't sound right. Um, I say, well, how can we address this with them? Because this is obviously not right. And, and we've talked to the inspectors plenty of contractors that I've talked to are uh, have have already asked the, the inspector supervisor like hey what is this all about and they can't get anywhere about with with it they've all told me like I, I went and asked a few of these guys uh, if they wanted to uh, you know go take it to the city with me and I had about about five guys um, join me in signing a, a, a letter stating uh, you know here's here's what the situation is and and then the question my attorney asked me to pose to the city is how will you protect us 
from a lawsuit from <clears throat> either your employee or your employee's spouse should they fall off our ladder while inspecting a job. And that's the question we were supposed to pose to the inspector supervisor. I posed that question in a letter. A few of us contractors uh, signed it. And, uh, and, then, uh, <clears throat> and then I went down to Sacramento and I talked to the guy. And um, he was a really nice guy. Uh, obviously has had this question posed to him several times before. And I was like nervous. I was nervous talking to him. I was, I was just like, I feel like I was talking to a police officer or like, you know, like, uh, you know, I'm not normally having conversations with people like that. And, and I also don't like to buck authority. Like, I know that I have a, you know, kind of a little personality where I can be, uh, you know, a little boisterous at times and speak out for myself. But at the same time, it, it's, ner you know, it's uh, nerve wracking to me to approach somebody and then approach them and con and then uh, create conflict with them. So, uh, so I was a little nervous going to this guy and talking to him about it. But um, he said, you know, basically the first thing that comes out of his mouth is means and access. The, uh, the person requesting the inspection must provide means and access for the inspection. And that's it. So I take that information back to my attorney and he says, well, I guess they've got a hook to hang their hat on then. If uh, the International Mechanical Code says that, then maybe we should start discussing, maybe we should start looking at your insurance policy instead. So I ended up sending my insurance policy just to make sure that, uh, you know, if something like that were to happen, would we be covered? So this is just something I wanted to kind of talk about real quick, just kind of let you guys know what was going on, uh, you know, just kind of let you guys know what's going on with Fox Family every once in a while, and some of the challenges that we incur sometimes. Um, this isn't a huge deal, it's not really a big deal, it's a petty thing, but it's annoying also at the same time. We as contractors want to protect our liability, but the mechanical codes has that verbiage. What do you guys think about that? What do you guys think about that verbiage? And does it implicitly direct us to leave a ladder on the job for the inspector. I mean, if the inspector got hurt, is there no way that it can come back on us? If there's no way that it could come back on us, I'm over it. I'm totally over it. I'm fine. But I don't know the answer to that. Uh, and I haven't followed up with my attorney yet, so I'm posing that question to you folks. When I find out from my attorney, I'll uh, I'll do another uh, video on this uh, topic and kind of just kind of update you guys on what he did say, but uh, it's just something that I'm thinking about, and you can't hurry attorney. You're like, hey, are you, uh, can you hurry up with my <laughs> stuff? I don't want to be like that, so if this is your first time visiting our channel, please click subscribe down below, and uh, there's a little bell off to the side of that. If you click that, You'll be notified of every video that comes out. See you on the next video. Bye. You're watching Fox Family Heating and Air Conditioning. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.